does science have a marketing problem? Because I've seen preschoolers absolutely be enthralled by a simple uh, volcano experiment, by the sand pit, and yet I don't see them studying science at schools or universities in droves. So what can be done, not just by government, but by parents, scientists, and perhaps the media, to ignite and sustain a passion for science? Let's start with Marita there. Oh, I mean, I founded RoboGals. We go out to schools with robots, teach girls <laughs> how to build and program robots. And what we found is that kids really respond to why. Why are we doing this? Why are we making this robot move around? And we tell them, well, there's an animal. It's in an environmental disaster. We're building this robot to go and rescue it. Uh, you're building this robot to transport medicine from one side of the hospital to another so that a busy nurse doesn't have to. And when they get that context and they get it in their world, in their terms, in their language, they think, wow, you know, I can, I can do this. I can use this to make a difference. But I think even more importantly than that is, is to have that, that big vision, that big dream. Um, when, when America put the first man on the moon, the average age of the, scientist, of the engineer working at NASA at the time was 28. And so when, uh, when JFK made that declaration, they were in their teens. They were, they were at that point when they were thinking, what should I do at university? And they would have chosen engineering, possibly because they were inspired by that grand vision, that chance to be part of something bigger than themselves. And I think that's what Australia needs. What, we need a grand vision, something that, something that propels us forward and, and has us seek this future. Uh, and, that's, and that's what I do every day in my life. I, I build robot arms. And, and, um, and it, you know, I put all my time, all my money, all my energy into building these robots. And people just think I'm crazy. But I think in the future, there are going to be robots in the world. And I want to be part of creating that future. And so that's what I'm doing. And we need that m kind of mania across the whole country. Uh, can I just ask why, um, as a young girl, did you get involved with building robots? I was just inspired by the technology entrepreneurs. When I was in my teens, I read about the Google guys and uh, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. And sitting there reading my Time magazine, I thought, oh my gosh, they were 21, 25. They were studying their PhD, early 20s. And they dropped out because they saw an even bigger <coughs> opportunity to make an impact in the world. They dropped out. They founded Google. They founded Apple. And I thought, you know, they're only in their 20s. I want, I want to make a difference. If I study hard, if I try my hardest, maybe when I'm in my 20s, I can go out there and make a difference. And, um, and I think other young people in Australia, all across Australia, can do the same. I, there's no doubt in my mind that the next Google, the next Apple, the next Facebook can come from Australia. We have the foundations. We need the vision. We need to build on what we have to go forward.